Welcome to the 22nd Annual GLAAD Media Awards and Interviewing Hollywood with me, your host, Shaheed Manning. This very special series of interviews will include exciting coverage of glamour and celebrity and red carpet and pictures of the excitement and one-on-one -on -one interviews with the stars. So sit back and enjoy these editions of Interviewing Hollywood. Shahid Manning with Interviewing Hollywood, GBM News, how are you? I'm great. You know what's amazing to me? You're an amazing young man to be playing such a role. How did you, how did this come about for you? Um, actually pretty much a standard way. It's just a, a normal audition for me. I, I got the sides and I was like, whoa, this is something I've never seen before. I saw the script and I was like, wow, this character is it's really amazing. It's like one of those dream roles for an actor who everyone just like wants to do because he's so layered and he has so much going on in his life. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. So truth has been layered and such. I love that. <laughs> but as such, such a as such a young man and playing a role that's of an openly gay youngster, how does that affect you? Is that something that you struggled with? No, I mean not really. I I don't find it to be an issue. I mean it was never about playing a gay character or not playing a gay character. I mean he's definitely an intense character to play, and uh, sexuality is a big part of, of who he is. But it was not really an issue for me to be honest. That's great. So you've learned young that people aren't just gay. There are a lot of many things, excellent things, and they participate in, in society in excellent ways. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Uh, gay, gay doesn't define a person. And gay is not some sort of personality. It's so certainly a part of, it, of you know, identity, but it is not an identity in itself. Very good. Very mature young man. Bravo. Well, tell me one thing, though. I, I'm not familiar with Shameless. Tell our viewers exact what it, it just briefly what it's about. Sure. It's basically about a, 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 a struggling family in Chicago. Who the uh, the mother is gone. She, she left a long time ago. The father is an alcoholic, played by William H Macy. Uh, so the big sister, played by Emmy. Awesome is kind of having to take care of the family. And basically, these kids are taking care of themselves and getting in a lot of trouble in the process. Oh, wow. I'd like to hear more, but I'm sure you have plenty of people to talk to. Can you do me one favor and shout out uh, Interviewing Hollywood? Interviewing Hollywood? Yes. Uh, sure. Should I say, uh, say your name in Interviewing Hollywood. I'm on Interviewing Hollywood. Enjoy Interviewing Hollywood. Hey, I'm Cameron Monaghan, and I'm on Interviewing Hollywood. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh my God, the illustrious Cameron. His name is Cameron Monaghan, Monogram. I'm just amazed with the with the quality of the actors here. He's such a young man, but it's awesome that he understands at such a young age that a person is not just their sexuality. That to me means that a young, more young people should get roles like this so that they can understand this from when they're young. Fantastic. Keep uh, just stay tuned with us, guys. We got plenty more to come. This red carpet is just starting. I'm excited. Yes. Woohoo! Josh, how are you? Shaheed Manning interviewing Hollywood. Oh, great. I'm just, I, I must admit, I was just reading about you um, creating this show, um, Drop Dead Diva. Yes. I heard a little bit about it. Can you explain to our viewers what it is? It sounds fascinating. Go watch it. Drop Dead Diva, the premise of the show, is a skinny wannabe model dies and comes back to life as an overweight but brilliant attorney. Oh, wow. So it's the age old story of beauty versus uh, brains. Right. And what she does is she realizes as a smart girl she's also comfortable with her body wow. it takes a while to get there and our, her she in this law firm her assistant is margaret Cho. right and we're going into our third season in june we're on oh. lifetime okay and all, the episodes are available on netflix if you haven't seen the show no no i want to see it not margaret it. Cho. Okay. Yeah, i know margaret Cho. <laughs> right, and it's, exactly we're we're uh, probably i say we're the gayest show on tv other than glee Oh, uh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, Wait, is she a lesbian? On the show, Margaret is, uh, she dates men, but we've left that open. No, but is there a gay character on the show? There there are lots of gay characters. There are no regular gay characters. Oh, I but, see. Uh, in Love fact, them. starting tomorrow, we're shooting an episode uh, all about uh, the lesbian prom issue. Okay. And last year, I was in the audience with one, when Wanda Sykes talked about and honored uh, Constance McMillan, who right. was denied access to her prom as a lesbian. And what, we've, what we're shooting now is Wanda Sykes playing the judge. Oh, uh, okay. And the real life case and Constance McMillan is her bailiff in the courtroom. Oh, okay. I'm, since you're producing, I want to ask you a production question. I'm, I'm floor, I, I love how that Hollywood's kind of sort of touching on gay issues and stuff. They don't do it. They're not doing full out gay shows where the characters are gay and it's about gay identity and this kind of thing. 
they're they touching on it. They're having gay characters right, sometimes. They can do better but themselves. Are we, is and this we just a starting point in your opinion? Them because them you kind of sort of have a outlet to be able to help make that change. I know it's a business, but still our stories are compelling too. How, what do you, where do you think we are in the, in the evolution? I love that you're asking me that question. I know, but I'm sorry, it, shows, you have to. it shows that you haven't watched my show. Oh, good. Because we deal I'm wrong, with, good. <laughs> we deal with themes of identity in every issue, good. in every episode. Good, good. And, okay. and gay and lesbian is right in the forefront. Okay. So I'm here tonight because I was, uh, I'm, we're being honored, or being, we were nominated for yeah, an episode nominated. with Candace Kane. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, one of the partners in the law firm has a gay assistant. Okay. So there's a lot of gay themes, a lot of, uh, good. we enmesh it into the show. You is know? Hollywood coming? a long way with that? Yeah, Hollywood's come so far. And you know, we, we have far to go, but we're we, coming. We always have far to go. I sure, mean, sure. I think Modern Family is a great step in the right direction. Well, congratulations on the nomination. I hope you get it. I hope you start watching. I am going to start watching. Can I have you do one thing? Yes. Can you um, introduce yourself to the camera and then say thank you for our, our, your on um, interviewing Hollywood or whatever you'd like interviewing to say? Interviewing Hollywood? Yes, yes. yes. absolutely. Oh, you can take I'm the sorry, mic. Right. Hi, I'm Josh Berman, and I want to thank you interviewing Hollywood for being here today. <laughs> thank you, Josh. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Wow, Josh Berman, he's a, he's a producer, he's getting, um, he is actually um, the executive producer and creator of Lifetime's Drop Dead Diva. You heard him, it sounds amazing, I haven't even seen it, but I'm going to start watching it. Uh, that premise sounds amazing. Hollywood is coming along, people, this is a good thing. Hollywood's about to come up the hill here, and we're about to be able to make this a vocation, not just an advocation, uh, making quality, powerful, LGBTQ film and video. I look forward to it. Glad Awards. We've got plenty more to come, guys. Hang in there. I'm going to bring you everything that I can at the Glad Awards. Yes, the divas are coming. I see them. Woohoo! Well, you look fabulous. So, who are you wearing today? I'm wearing my closet boutique. <laughs> You know, I, no, I have my 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 best friend work at Cache and he said, Jessica, I want to see you in pink. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the dress and I said, I, I'm going to work as Bobby with this. You man. are working. Give us a twirl, Jessica. It's Rica. It's gorgeous. Rica? Rica? You need to learn. A Rica, Rica. Rica. Estoy Rica, yes. Okay. Rica. Yes. All right, absolutely gorgeous. Thank so you. I want to expand on a question he asked. Oh, yeah. So what's, what are you, I know you're traveling around and these kind of things, but... What has been the most exciting thing since the show that you've encountered? What, is, what has been the most positive thing? I mean, you know, because the show is all about acceptance, too. I mean, it's a fun show, but now you feel, you know, you're feeling more part of being accepted in society in general. What, tell us about that. Yeah, I think RuPaul Drag Race gave me the power to, you know, to support others because a lot of people maybe want to, I want to be like you Jessica and and I have the opportunity to say you want to be with like me you need to do this 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 so yes. I have a voice an extra voice. A role model you're a role model yeah I'm a role model and a, a lot of beautiful things happen a lot of people that impress me when they share the stories with me and, and I'm like wow thanks God that I that I can you know help people to to make the dreams come true and RuPaul Drag Race gave me the, that, that power thank you RuPaul and thank you you know right one more question yeah. You're, as a role model that's fantastic so yes. other young ladies that want to be just like you that's probably the most important place where you can you, your people can role model themselves after you do you are you get an opportunity to talk to young people who young people who want to be like you and so they feel good and they know there's other people like you. I mean, obviously they watch the show, but now you can go out to the community. No, and, you know, behind my character, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a gay boy, mm -hmm. I'm a drag queen, I'm a Latino, mm -hmm. so... There's a lot, of, a lot of things you can cover there. Yes, <laughs> I'm a lot of things just in one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so it's like, I just want to say to all those people, you know, never give up, work for your dreams, dreams come true, but you need to be a good boy. <laughs> Okay. You need to work so hard and take care of your health and your life. Please. You look fantastic. Can I ask you to do one more thing? Can you introduce yourself and say thank you for being on Interviewing Hollywood or would you would like to reference the show? What? 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 It's your name and thank you or thank you for watching Interviewing Hollywood or, you know. Oh. Jessica Wilde, thank you for this beautiful interview in Hollywood. I feel sexy and I feel wild. Absolutely gorgeous. She is sexy and wild. <laughs> thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. I told you it was going to be exciting. I told you it was going to be fun. I told you we were bringing your red carpet. Come on, when we're at the Glad Awards, you don't know who we're going to meet and how much fun it's going to be. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too.
There is a dangerous silence today Which unintentionally encourages evil to flourish As Albert Einstein writes when he said The world is in greater peril from those who tolerate evil Than from those who actively commit